It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. Warden Logain Muktia. I believe we have a common cause, Inquisitor. There was a Logain who joined the Wardens after he lost Ferelden's throne. The traitor Terran. Yes. I've heard all the names. Then that's you. I've been a Warden for ten years. They will never fully consider me theirs. Something I've had cause to be grateful for recently. I need to know why the Wardens disappeared. Could it have anything to do with Corypheus? I believe so. After Hawk killed Corypheus, Weishaupt was content to forget the whole affair. If an archdemon can survive seemingly mortal wounds, why not Corypheus? I began to investigate. I found evidence, but no proof. And then, soon after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. You never told me. I didn't believe it concerned you. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling is a portent, like crows circling the battlefield before the fighting. It tells the Warden that his time has come. First are the dreams, and then a voice whispers in the back of the Warden's head, just at the edge of hearing. And that is when the Warden goes down to the deep roads, to die with honor. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Thanks to Corypheus, I believe. If the Wardens fall, who will stop the next blight? That is what's panicked my brethren. Thanks to the calling, Corypheus has them scared, and they're playing right into his hands. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I don't know. Even as a senior warden, I knew little about him. The wardens believe it to be real, despite my warnings about Corypheus. That is all that matters at the moment. You said all the wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? Yes. It's like an itch in the back of my mind. At times, it's barely there at all. But then I find myself starting to hum it under my breath. It is vile. I can understand why so many Wardens have gone mad from fear of it. How can Corypheus make all these Wardens hear the calling? I don't know. It's likely part of his nature. Corypheus is, or was, once a mortal man. The Blight owns him, but it did not create him. Wardens are tied to the Blight through the Darkspawn. That is how Corypheus influences Warden minds. Somehow he is using that power to mimic the calling. We need the Warden's help. This is the worst possible time for such a lunacy. A Blight nearly destroyed Ferelden. A Blight without Wardens to stop it might well destroy the world. Warden Commander Clarell proposed a ritual involving blood magic. A desperate measure to prevent further Blights. When I protested the plan, called it madness, they tried to arrest me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It's an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. If we wish to stop my fellow Wardens, we should get to their ritual tower in the Western Approach. You said that Clarell was Warden Commander. I thought that the hero of Ferelden led the Wardens. There's more than one Warden Commander. Each oversees a region, most often a single nation. The man you speak of was Warden Commander of Ferelden, as well as Prince Consort to Honora. He disappeared some time ago. It's possible he joined the rest of the Wardens, although I cannot say for certain. I heard something of what happened in Ferelden. How is it you weren't executed? When your mistakes are public, everyone feels they have the right to a personal apology. In the final hours of the Blight, the Wardens were short-handed. They needed every soldier they could get. The rest of my life will be my penance. How did you end up an enemy of the Wardens again? When the calling began, I 
searched as much as anyone for an answer. I protested the rituals, but faced little resistance until I began to investigate the death of Corypheus. The warden mages branded me a traitor and attacked. And I defended myself. Clorel ordered my death. I'd like to know more about Warden Commander Clorel. I've served under her since coming to Orlais. She seemed fair before, dedicated. Perhaps that was the problem. I, more than anyone, know the cost. Too much dedication. Do you think Clorel is acting of her own volition? Calling does not control minds, and I doubt Clorel could fall to Corypheus without others noticing. Whatever mistakes she makes, she makes of her own accord. Hopefully, we will learn more in the Western approach. Corypheus was imprisoned by the Wardens, right? So they must know who or what he is. Secrets are a habit with the Wardens. One that costs many lives. Some knowledge is too dangerous to share. I knew little of Corypheus, and that was more than most. No one thought that knowledge could be vital. I'll talk to you later. Of course.